Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and the Netflix gods have heard my prayers. Um, the first official trailer for Kingdom has finally dropped. Um, I, I've said so many times this is my most anticipated series of, um, of this year. I'm not counting The Witcher, although uh, The Witcher would have fallen somewhere in December um, for 2019. But if, if, the, if this were the case and it was out January, Kingdom would have definitely just slightly nudged it. Um, if only because of my anticipation level for it, as much as I enjoy the world of The Witcher itself, Kingdom has left such a good impression. And um, I mean, that's ironic considering the genre itself, um, zombies, of course, has been done to death, pun intended. Um, with so many zombie, between walking, The Walking Dead, I Zombie, so many zombie movies, um, series, it's been done to, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't think that there was a way to actually do this. In such a way that it feels refreshing but they have done it and what's so beautiful about this i mean i mean it's a, it's a korean um, period piece um and they, they first and foremost the focus is generally on the political intrigue and um cho hakju attempted to usurp control of the throne for himself and and prince juji hoon um you know just trying not to die uh, but it, while there are zombies flavored in, um, they're, they're not the focus of this world, right? They're, the zombies are essentially used really as tools, um, you know, for the, for the, um, for Chohak Ju to maintain power, you know, and, and for, you know, it, it's, it's just so beautifully done that it's, it doesn't feel over, you know, it doesn't feel ridiculous and, and overplayed and, and um, it's just magnificently done. And um, one of the things I do appreciate most about this series, you know, aside from um, the, 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 how the zombies are created, it's how the zombies are actually created, right? And I won't spoil it for those who have not, um, not you know, discovered this series just yet. Um, so if you haven't, um, be sure to go and check it out on your own. But how the zombies are actually created, how they're used in this world, um, it's, just, it's, it's, it's just so unique. And because unlike The Walking Dead and so many of the others, you know, there, there are no weapons uh, in terms of guns. There are, there are guns here, but it's used scarcely because they're, they're powder, um, powder guns, right? Um, uh, they use gunpowder, so it's not as efficient. And you can't just, you know, you can't just wipe out um, or mow down a whole group of zombies as easily as you could in modern time. Um, so for the most part, the, you know, they, they rely on, on swords and hand-to-hand and -hand combat. So it's, it's very interesting. It's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting world. And um, how they have executed things is just phenomenal. Um, so I'm um, definitely excited for season two. So first trailer, let's check it out. All right, so we're picking up right where we left off. Right at the gates. I hope. Alright, so CUB is alright. I think the last time we saw her, she was being cornered. You need to save yourself. Allies? Taking the fight to the new king, our queen regent. March 13th. All right. So there we have it, our first trailer for Kingdom Season 2. And it just occurred to me, I, you know, I get just get this overwhelming feeling that Mu Young is going to die this season. And I mean, I, I felt that way in part in Season 1, but more so towards the end because of the introduction of his wife. Mu Young, um, his, his guard, um, his wife is pregnant. And odds are the, the queen regent will be attempting to use her child to pass on, pass off as her own, um, as a, the new heir to the throne, um, to maintain her, to maintain her power. 
but I, I get the impression that he will have to choose between saving his wife and his loyalty towards the prince will be tested there. Um, who knows how this can possibly go? And now that they're actually back at the palace, the, the, the king is actually still alive or undead. He's not alive, but not dead. So, um, I mean, the prince may have to slay his father. And as much as, you know, he attempted a coup himself before, um, I don't think he truly wanted his father to go out the way in, that, in, in, in which he did. So I can't wait to see that. Um, Cho Hak Ju, though, I, I, I said this in my last, in my review for season one. Um, I suspect that this zombie outbreak has occurred before. Uh, between him and An Hyun, the war hero, I, I think they know something that they've not yet said. I think this outbreak has happened in the past and um they, they somehow managed to contain it but cho hak ju in his mind you know realizing that hey i could use this to my advantage and take control of the throne and um of course the peasants those who are below me you know they don't know anything about this so it, it's you know and as i said before one of the beautiful things about this world i'm not you know they don't have they have guns but gunpowder they don't have the, the sort of weaponry that they could use to eliminate this threat as easily as they you could have in modern time um so it's just you, you sort of get to have to experience the moments um in a different way than you would in something like the walking dead you don't just get a zombie rushing in and then you kill it and then that's it you, you, you're kind of sitting still with with this world and you know to, to absorb it all and and that's just something that's that's you know just unique to this series that you don't get to see done so often and um, I've said it before, and I, I've, I've got to give Netflix props for this because, um, I mean, this is one of those. This is one of those times where you know they're creating something on a global scale. Um, it's an international, you know, it's it's not tailored to fit just an American audience. You can enjoy this any way, as long as you don't mind the subtitles, of course. But, um, and I mean for. To, to Netflix's credit, a lot of these other streaming services, they're catering to a specific demographic while Netflix is expanding to an international market, to a global market. And some of my favorite content on Netflix um, happens to be a lot of the international content, both movies and series. So um, I'm, I'm so glad that they have allowed, they have greenlit season two. They have, um, and I, I, I hope, I suspect that they will for season, they will do a season, a third season as well. Um, but you know me, as I've said before, I don't, I, I don't particularly love when series run too far I, I prefer that they tell the story that needs to be told and then end it there so um but i'm definitely looking forward to this season and the third or fourth um, um what we'll see right um but definitely um, one of my favorite series um ongoing at the moment so i can't wait um be sure to post down below guys let me know what your um thoughts your anticipations for the new season and um hopefully you'll join me for the review of season two um hit like and subscribe and i will see you guys for the next one